Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel I am back with another video tutorial for my python's project playlist a currency is a system of money in common use especially for a nation say for example INR and USD and bitcoin is a cryptocurrency in this video tutorial we learn how to create a currency converter we'll see the implementation in python let's have a look at today's agenda we'll cover what's a bitcoin and currency we'll see the basics of forex python module and finally we'll see how to create a currency converter using python let's get started what is a bitcoin Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and innovative payment network invented in 2008 by an unknown person or group of people using the name Satoshi Nakamoto and started in 2009. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to its Wikipedia page. What is currency? Currency is a medium of exchange for goods and services. In short, it's money in form of paper or coins, usually issued by the government and generally accepted as its face value as a method of payment. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to its Wikipedia page. I'll attach these links in the description box below. Let's have a look at the modules used. Forex Python is a free foreign exchange rates and currency conversion. Let's have a look at its features. It lists all currency rates and Bitcoin prices for all currencies, the converting amount to Bitcoin, historical rates for any day post 1999, conversion rate for any country, currency symbols and names and many more. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to its documentation. You can also have a look at its GitHub repository. Now that you're familiar with Bitcoin and currency basics and have acquired a basic knowledge of Forex Python module, we can move forward to the coding section. It's time to code. You can find all the code at my YouTube projects GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. Are you aware that GitHub has launched dark mode? Check it out. Moving forward, you can refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide of the video tutorial. In order to access the Python library, you need to install it in your Python environment. So open your command terminal and use the command pip install forex python to install the package. Once done, hit enter. For me, it says as requirement already satisfied since I've already got this installed in my system. Once done, we need to import it in a Python script. So let's head over to the VS Code editor and let's start by creating a new Python file. I'll name it as currency converter. And now let's import the package in our script. So from forex python dot converter, let's import currency code and currency rates. And from forex python dot bitcoin, I'm importing BTC converter. Now let's create an instance of currency codes. Let's name it as test here. Once done, let's fetch the currency symbol. I'm making use of get symbol method for the same. Let's store it in currency symbol. And let's pass an INR. Now let's fetch the currency name. We'll make use of get currency name method for the same. And let's store it and currency name. So test dot get currency name and let's pass an INR. 
let's display the output now let's run a python script so as you can observe here the currency name is indian rupee and currency symbol is this for INR. Let's take in another example here. Let's pass in USD and let's do the same for currency symbol. And now let's save and run our Python script. So as you can see here, we have United States dollars and US dollars. Let me clear the screen for you. Now let's move forward and create an instance of currency rates. Once done, let's fetch the conversion rate. I'll make use of get rate method for the same. Now we have to pass in two parameters here. Let's output what one United States dollars equal to in Indian rupee. So print rate. Let's save and run a Python script. And here's a conversion rate. So one United States dollar equals to 73.7779 Indian rupees. Now let's try converting 10 United States dollars to Indian rupees. Let's store it in result. So result equals to test one dot convert. And let's pass in three parameters here. So I'm passing 10 as the conversion amount here. Let's print out our result and let's save and run our Python script. So we are able to convert 10 United States dollars to Indian rupees and here's our output. Let's move forward to the bonus section. Let's start by creating an instance of BTC converter. So Bitcoin equals to. Now let's fetch the latest price. I'll make use of get latest price method for the same. And let's store it in price. So price equals to Bitcoin dot get latest price. And let's pass in INR here. Now let's display the output. Once done, let's save and run a Python script. And here's our output. With these steps, we have successfully created the currency converter using Python. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Hope this tutorial has helped you. You can play around with the Forex Python library and even make use of Python GUI using TKinter. You can find all the code at my YouTube project's GitHub repository. Check out Ultimate Python Resource Hub repository for awesome Python resources like books, newsletter, podcasts, etc. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide of the video tutorial. Check out the other video tutorials in Python project series and make sure to subscribe my channel. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server for regular updates and to connect with peers and fellow developers to make new connections and help improve your coding skills. I would love to connect with you at Twitter. My handle goes by ayushi 7 Rawat. LinkedIn and other social platforms. I'll attach the link in the description box below. If this video has helped you, like and share it with your friends and connections who are interested in learning Python. Do share your feedback in the comment section below which will help me improve my next video. Also, drop your suggestions if you want me to make a video on a particular topic. 
I will be back with more such videos. Till then, take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.